Well, hello again, and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And again, I'm your host, Irv Risch. And we have been going through a reading uh, by uh, Andrew Murray, The Inner Chamber and the Inner Life. And today we're into our eighth reading, uh, uh, which is The Seed is the Word. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but before we get into the reading, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something. Uh, first, uh, I've got uh, I got an image on the screen for those in my audio podcast. It's uh, from uh, an acorn to an oak, and it's an acorn, a picture of an acorn. But I want to tell you a little story before we even get going. I've been a Christian for over 40 years, and... Uh, I've been living in the house I'm living in right now over 40 years. And uh, I remember when we first moved into the house, uh, outside we, on our lot line, we had a lot of overgrowth. Uh, oh, just a lot of shrubs and things, weeds and things that were growing that uh, were not very attractive, but it divided uh my uh, lot from my neighbor's lot. And uh, uh, there was a few years that went by with this overgrowth still there. And one day, uh, as a surprise, my children all got together and they cleaned that that lot line out. And we discovered there was a, uh, a maple tree growing. And it was small, but it was looking for sunlight so what it was it was growing uh out into my neighbor's yard so i took a bungee cord and uh, a real strong one and i put it on that tree and i pulled on it and then i drove a stake in the ground and i tied the bungee cord to the stake and uh as I kept pulling the tree over. I would put more tension on that bungee cord. I I let that on there for, oh, three, four years. I know it was a long time. But eventually, the tree started to grow straight. And uh, after a while, I ended up, I took the bungee cord off, and the tree stayed in that same growth position. Well, uh... As years went by, I had another maple in the yard that got a disease, and it slowly was dying, and one year it just had no leaves on it, and the branches kept falling off, and I had to clean the yard. And uh, So we ended up, we had to cut the tree down, and it was the only, the only shade tree I had in the yard. Now this one that... Uh, I was talking about that I had to put the bungee cord on, finally has become almost a mature tree after these 40 years of growth, or however long it's been growing. And now I'm starting to benefit from the shade of that tree, and it's kind of replacing the one that I lost. And you know, life in a lot of respects are that way, and we're going to be looking at a story today about the seed is the word, the word of God. And let's think about that story I just shared with you. And then think about an oak, uh, an oak tree. You know, an oak tree is a big tree and a very powerful looking tree. And uh, it starts from a little acorn and it grows into maturity. Well, picture the Word of God as we read uh, as this little acorn before it's even planted. Does it look like a mighty oak tree? No. looks like a little acorn, and that's all we see. And that's the way we look at the Word of God. So with that said, I'm going to continue reading on. So as we get into our reading, think about those things I just shared with you. I think it may be confidently said that in all nature there is no other illustration of what the Word of God is uh, so true and so fully 
uh, meaning as that of a seed or an acorn, however you want to look at it, to have a full spiritual insight into the wonderful means of grace. The point uh, of remembrance are easily stated. There is an apparent insufficiency of the seed, a little thing, as compared to the tree that springs from it. There is the life enclosed and dormant within the husk. There is a need of a suitable soil without which growth is impossible. There is a slow growth with its length of time call for a long patience of the husbandman. And there is its fruit, is which the seed uh, reproduces and multiplies itself. In all this respect, the seed teaches us most prescient precious lessons from our use of God's Word. Uh, I'm going to clear my throat and have a little drink of coffee. Hang on there a minute. (coughs) There's a lesson of faith. Faith does not look at appearances. (coughs) Boy, As far as we can judge, it looks more improbable that the word of God should give life in the soul, should work in us the very grace of which it speaks, should transform our whole character, should fill us with strength, and yet it is so. And yet it is. When once we have learned to believe that the word can work effectively in the very truth of which it is expression, we have found one of the chief secrets of our Bible study. We shall then receive each word as the pledge and the power of divine working. Then there is a lesson of labor. Just like when I did that, uh, putting that bungee cord on that tree to bring it back uh, straight, the seed needs to be gathered and kept and put into the prepared soil. And so the mind has to gather from Scripture and understanding and passing on to the heart as the only soil on which this heavenly seed can grow, the words which meet our need. We cannot give the life or the growth. We can't. It's impossible. Nor do we need it. It is there. Uh, But what we can do is to hide the word of in our hearts and keep it there, waiting for the sunshine that comes from above. Well, and the seed teaches the lesson of patience. Uh, The effects of the word on the heart is, in most cases, not immediate. It needs time to strike root uh, and grow up. God's, or I'm sorry, Christ's word must abide in us. We must not Uh, only day by day increase our store of Bible knowledge. This is only like gathering the grain in a barn. But watch over these words of commands or promises that we have uh, specifically taken and allow them room in our hearts to spread both root and branches. We need to know what seed we have put in and to cultivate and watch, but patient expectancies. In due time, we shall reap if we faint not. And last comes the lesson of fruitfulness. However, 
insignificant the little seed of the word of God appears, however feeble in life it may seem, however deep, hidden, and very thoughts of what it speaks may be, however, trying to, uh, trying to, trying the slowness of its growth may be to our patience. Be sure the fruit will come. And very true, and life and power of God, of which the word continues, and thought will grow and ripen within. And just as a seed bears a fruit containing the same seeds of new reproduction, so the word will not only bring you the fruit it promised, but the fruit will with each time become the seed which you carry to others to give life and blessings. Not only the word, but the kingdom of heaven is like a seed, and all the grace of it comes in no other way than as a hidden seed in the heart of the regenerated. Christ is the seed, the Holy Spirit is the seed, the love of God shed abroad in our hearts is a seed, the exceeding greatness of the power that works in us is a seed, the hidden life is there in the heart, but not at once or always felt in its power, the divine glory is there, but often without form or cumberness to be known only by faith, to be counted and acted on, even though, even when not felt, to be waiting for and the springing forth of its growth. You know, as the central truth, each time is firmly grasped and held as the law of all the heavenlies life on earth and study of God's word becomes an act of faith and surrender and dependence upon the living God. I believe humbly among uh, uh, trembling in the divine seed that there is in the word and the power of God's spirit to make it a, as true in my life and experience. I yield my heart hungrily and wholly to receive this divine seed, and I wait on God in abundant dependencies and confidence to give the increase in the power above what we can ask or think. You know, it's so, so true. And this is, was a, the ending of our reading and I hope you take to heart this reading and also the little story I shared about that maple tree in my yard. Yes, it took labor, but now I am reaping some of the fruits, the share and the, the shade that I get from the heat of the sun. And the word of God will do the same for us spiritually. And with that said, I'm just going to end our, our podcast. Till next time. Bye for now.